Today, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of March. Uh, really, this should this video should be called Hates and Favorites because <laughs> yeah, well, hate like yeah we have a lot. The month uh, the month of March in general is a longer month. However, we went to Jungle Gems International Market and I got um, a lot of food from there that I wouldn't ordinarily have and. Uh, we've had a world market that has opened up in our area uh, and they sell a lot of foods from all over the place that I ordinarily wouldn't be able to get so I've had a lot of extra videos going up is what I'm saying um, so you just have to some people you know you don't have time to watch them all and you just have to pick out the ones that seem the, the most interesting to you uh, so first we're gonna go over the things that we absolutely um, hated <laughs> so um, I'll just grab this because it's closest. This is the Magnum Mini Ruby. Um, I'm sure a lot of you love the Ruby flavor. Kevin and I have tried it in chocolate bars, in ice cream bars, and we are just not happy with the flavor. Other people are like us and they agree. It's not for me either, but some people are like crazy about it. And I think to- Just like some, green tea or any of those. Yeah. Right, and I think some to some people it's a novelty, you know, it's cool. It's just cool because it's Ruby. Um, we uh, have, you know, and I'll probably keep trying it in different forms as I see it, just because you never know when you're gonna like it. You mm -hmm. know, some people say, well, why would you keep buying it if you didn't like it to begin with? Well, because in a different form, they might do it a little bit different a different company and you might like it better in a different way so that's why we always try uh, things like that uh, but this was definitely uh, yeah. did not like and we like magnum ice cream which yeah, good quality just bad yes flavor. which you will see some magnum in our favorite this month but this is one that we just did not like so um, I'll just pick a drink uh, this one is the fudge brownie very important fudge brownie cookie dough bites soda and the other two so the other two cookie bites we tried that we thought they were okay the flavors were okay but they didn't really represent like cookie bites but this one was was not good at all it tasted like the cheapest chocolate syrupy kind of flavor you get Tammy said it tasted like an old nasty roll um tootsie roll and i said it's worse than a tootsie roll so that's that's where that one's heading towards uh, this is uh, an Asian uh, food. This is um, the salted egg yolk cookie. And if I recall, I even thought it had like an eggy flavor. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, it, it was nasty. It the only thing cool. I thought was good, and it's a cookie, so I, but I, a cracker like thing. Um, I thought it was, I like the salt. And I see, I didn't mind it as much. Tammy really, really oh, hated it. Oh, I hated it. Hated it. Could have spit it out immediately. Yeah. Hey, this is the. Uh, Goya uh, sangria. We it tastes like rotten fruit is what it tastes like. Sangria and, is not for us. Yeah, it's just not our. We've tried sangria in a couple of different things, and we've we haven't liked it in a couple of things. We'll keep trying it though. If yes. we see things that have that in I there, will. just like everything else, we'll we'll still try. I'm it. a but glutton for punishment. So far, we haven't found anything sangria that we really like, but that we really just didn't like that one. If you really like sangria, you may you may love that one. Uh, this is the Bang Chocolate Peanut Butter Blast. Um, it was horrible. There was nothing peanut butter about this at all, it, or chocolate. It was just disgusting. And we, we like a lot of the Bang drinks. Yes, and the Bang, um, I'm thinking the one that I really liked, The uh, this is high protein coffee. So I'm thinking there was like a cookies and cream coffee that I really, really loved. And so to go from that to this, that I absolutely just detest. It, it was surprised me, but I definitely wouldn't get that one again. Same vein. Uh, this was the black iced coffee from Maxwell House, and it was. Uh, it tastes like old bitter coffee. It didn't have a really good flavor. It tasted like something you'd made coffee and let it sit in the pot for like four or five days and just let it sit there and, and sit. Um, and it didn't have any, of course it's black, so it didn't have any sugar or cream or anything like that, which we like. But even beyond being a black, just a black coffee, it tasted like an old black coffee. So <laughs> this wasn't any good. This is the Raindrops, uh, uh, the original candy burger. We had like a, a burger and a taco and a, and a pizza. 
And they were horrible. They were all horrible, nasty. horrible. Please don't ever buy these for your children. They will rip their t their little precious teeth. Um, but that was the worst. Uh, it's the, the flavors aren't good. The texture is appalling. Yeah. For I mean, this is get them a bag of gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, please don't buy this for them. Yeah, buy the Albanese or a Harbo, uh, something like that. I do not buy these. Yeah, these, these are awful. Very, very bad. Yeah. All right, so this one is the Dunkin' Donuts. This one is the, is it mint? It was Yeah, the chocolate. chocolate mint. Um, chocolate mint's not any good. The other ones were okay. Yeah. But the mint was really, oh, really bad. Awful. Yeah, it was, the chocolate mint did not go good together in mm -hmm. this particular mix. The chocolate was funky. The mint was was funky. So, yeah, don't get this one. Which one of these do you want to talk about? You can pick whatever one. Okay. This is the, um, uh, uh, Potchki. This is the Bake Shop Bakery Potchki. Uh, this one had Bavarian cream. This, uh, I d did not, I forgot to keep the container and so we printed it out. Um, I'm sorry if you can't see it very well. That's how it looks. Uh, these were the ones from Aldi. And, you know, for Aldi, either I really, really love it or I really, really hate it. Yeah, I um, agree. These were the nastiest things. They were just... Oh, the texture and everything. Yeah, oh, Flavor, was nothing. Was, no, there was nothing good about them. No, 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 no. It was like they had gone off. Yeah. And the date was fine on them. They were just vile. Yeah, horrible. they weren't good at all. Hey, right, this is the Lilies. I think this one is uh, peanut butter. Yeah, milk chocolate peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Um, I have to be honest, this was the worst of the bunch, but none of them were any good. The Lilies, uh, <laughs> the Lilies um, are the, the ones that uh, a that lot of people probably. on keto buy these uh, because they have no, no added sugar. sugar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no sugar added. And but we tried some that were like chocolate covered nuts and stuff like that. But, and those were fine. Those were good. But anything but, in a cup or a bar. Was, yeah. Texture was bad, flavor was bad. There was, actually there's nothing good about it. And that's what I tried to tell people that commented about the lilies. A lot of people commented and said, oh, I love lilies. I love their baking chips and I'll just snack on them. Or I love lilies uh, bar or this specific bar or this specific bar. And I said, please try those. Because if you try those, I, I I would be shocked if you did not agree. So even though you like the Lily's brand, if you don't think you like them all, because those uh, were absolutely horrible. Nasty. Horrible. So, so we'll move on to more positive things. Yeah. Now we're going to tell you the things that we loved. This. Do these together? They're, we, we both oh sure. Uh, these are both uh, Perry's ice creams. Yeah. We don't have Perry's ice cream in our area, so these came from Jungle Gems International Market, and it is located in um, Ohio. Uh, I forget the exact town in Ohio. I don't um, but uh, this was the Elf Trash, and it had white chocolate ice cream with red and green fudge candies, fudge covered pretzels, fudge covered peanuts, and praline peanuts. And it was a limited edition. It was out for Christmas, but the date was good. I mean, a oh, long yeah. time. So we tried it, you know, way after Christmas. Well, in mine, March. Was, mine was a limited edition football themed. It was s'more yardage, and it was toasted marshmallow ice cream with peanut butter swirls and peanut butter footballs. And uh, it was excellent as well. So out of all the Perry's ice creams we tried, these were the these best. These probably the best. They too. were yeah. absolutely wonderful. It was funny they're both seasonal, like limited edition. Limited edition, edition <laughs> ones. Yeah, that they they hit it out of the park. I don't know why they don't have this edition. stuff out all the time. Well, it doesn't have to necessarily be special. Have it all the time, and still people would still buy it. I know because this, uh, if you replaced the red and green candies and just put different color candies, then people's mentality would you would look at it different. Yeah. But you could have a spring edition and have pink and yellow for the yeah. flowers or something, you know, because that is good stuff. Yeah. And the s'mores, are. that's some good eating too. Okay, I did not review this, but I wanted to uh, mention it in this video because oh, we've reviewed it in the past. This is the Reese's White, uh, uh, white Peanut Butter Egg and... Um, I wanted to bring it up because now's the time of year where you see all of these eggs and if you for some reason <laughs> have never tried uh if you've tried even the white cups but you've never tried the egg you need to buy it in the egg form because it's different it's a completely different experience 
the white coating on the outside is thicker. The peanut butter on the inside is much thicker than just a regular uh, Reese's cup. Uh, they are phenomenal. Uh, they, um, for some reason, at our Walmart, they did not have these in the Easter aisle. They're in like they were in the very back of the store on like a special display and it's like, well, why wouldn't you have the white? Why wouldn't you have these right next to the milk chocolate? I don't know. But, um, and they also sell these in singles like Kroger. We've seen them in baskets at mm -hmm. Kroger, but they're just, it's just phenomenal. So, you know. Definitely worth a try. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try, let's see, the Duncan Hines. Uh, this one is the Mega Cookie, the Chocolate Chunk. And this is, this is one you, no, you microwave this one. Yeah. Did we bake this one or microwave them? Uh, that one, we, no, we baked it. Okay, because you can Yeah, we baked it, it okay. because I wanted to make those like the best way. Right, okay. Because yeah. I had time. So, anyway, uh, the, all the Mega Cookies were decent, but this was like the best one out of the bunch. This this one was like the really, really good one. It had a really good, just a chocolate chip cookie flavor. So, if you like chocolate chip cookies, you want a bigger one, try this one out. Um, I'm going to show you these two together. They're completely different candy bars, but we tried them both, I think, in the same video. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Anthon Berg, and this is a Nougat Marzipan bar. And this is the Stars? Stores. Stores. I would say Stores. Uh, that could be wrong. This was from Denmark. This Marzipan bar was from Denmark. And this is one of those that we found at Jungle Gems. Um, we probably paid way too much for it, but it was just absolutely delicious. Yeah, they're both brilliant. And this one, the Stores. It may have came from, I don't remember where it came from. Uh, it may have came from Denmark as well. The uh, packaging was really hard to read because it's like like a very, right. very light brown on, yeah, on gold. <laughs> but these were both very good. Yeah, candy. they're excellent. Candy Just bars. know if you ever see those in some kind of specialty store, they're both excellent. Yeah, I've got a lot of ice creams over here, so I'm just gonna... I'll, Imagine that. Kevin has a lot of ice creams. Okay. These are both from the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. factory. By the way, if you've never had Cheesecake um, Factory ice cream, you should just go out and buy it now. That's all I gotta say. Uh, the two best flavors I had was the original, and then that was the Salted Caramel um, Cheesecake. And um, I had both of them. I ate, I finished both of them off. Um, they were both excellent. I think the salted caramel definitely is my favorite of yeah. the ones. Yeah, all me of them. too. But if you couldn't find that, the original is really good too because it has this really good um, grainy, sugary uh, graham cracker kind of The graham cracker swirl. is... That's what makes it. Yeah, it does. I mean, truly. Um, the ice cream is excellent. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. The ice cream is truly cheesecake ice cream. Yes. But the little graham cracker swirl in there just tops it off. I mean, it wouldn't be the same without They did a wonderful job yeah. with it, really. But now, when we did the video, you had said at the time that you thought your second would be strawberry. Yeah, but I then, think it's these two. Okay. Yeah. So the strawberry is good. Um, the strawberry was good, but it wasn't as good as the... I still like these two the best. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have the coppers. These are robin egg marshmallows, milk chocolate. These were excellent. They had a wonderful uh, texture. The marshmallow in them was a very strong marshmallow that you don't get a lot of times in candy. It doesn't come across mm -hmm. as a marshmallow flavor. And these were just, I can't say it enough, they're so pretty. They're such a very pretty color for, now I mean I wouldn't want to have my whole house painted it or anything although i think that would be pretty too but it's just pretty candy you know it's pretty to eat it would be pretty sitting in a dish or in a uh, easter basket it's just really really good too it has a great flavor uh, last ice cream i think it's the last one i have yeah well um, technically that's ice cream too technically yeah that's true um ice cream in a tub this one is the um hudsonville uh, extra indulgent salted caramel brownie, and we both like this one. Um, mm -hmm. It was very, oh, yeah. very good. Super rich ice cream. Um, when they say super in, in, or extra indulgent, it was in this one because they had tons of stuff in yes. it. Yes. Um, sometimes they say that and it's not. This one truly was. It, was it had tons delicious. of brownie pieces, caramel, everything was just over the top. Since Kevin's doing Frozen, I'm going to share one of my favorite Frozens. Uh, these are the Kind Frozen. Uh, this is the dark chocolate peanut butter. And I wish someone from Kind was watching this video. Now, will they? Of course not. But I wish they were because they are doing themselves such a disservice by the picture on the front. The picture on the front, make, and a lot of people commented it, uh, that they said, oh, I saw that and I did not get it because it looks just like a regular Kind bar, but they put it in the freezer section. 
and this that's not how it looks at all no it doesn't look anything like those no it front. looks nothing like this so i wish they would uh, get a photographer in there and retake pictures really good pictures of how this actually looks out of the package to show that it is in fact an ice cream bar it is excellent uh we bought uh, this and another uh flavor i ate them both i ate them both i ate them with every meal they were delicious uh, they did not last no time you only get five bars in here to begin with but they're very very good so please don't think that they're just the regular kind bars they're they're not they are actually ice cream bars and they're terrific quality so so I'll just finish on my last ice cream. Uh, this one is the Magnum, the double caramel. Um, it is loved it. Vanilla bean ice cream dipped in a chocolatey coating, caramel sauce, and milk chocolate. And it has layers. It had like uh, ice cream and then chocolate and then caramel and then the solid chocolate on the outside. So it was just it was very very good, it's very rich. Excellent. And you only get three bars, in the box. <laughs> which is sad for probably how much you pay for it but but, but they so are very very good. good it's it's like an extra special trait yeah um but so, the only time you're gonna you're not gonna give those to your kids those are gonna be an adult yeah stuff. those are for 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 mom and dad uh so these are little secrets chocolate eggs these are the peanut butter and dark chocolate somebody was kind enough to tell me that these are out year round oh that's good uh, it is good because um they said i think they they're not in egg shapes they're just like in a round shape um but the peanut butter and dark chocolate absolutely excellent quality loved it since they're out year round that means you can buy them um they're very very good um i'm gonna do the uh, chips ahoy reese's pieces cookies um they're they're reese's pieces in a, in a chips ahoy i mean there's nothing more to say <laughs> they're just really, i had to really pull good. these out of the cabinet to show you in this video because yeah, we're, we're still working, working on. on these they um let me just smell them right here yeah, yeah. it's not really good yeah <laughs> uh they're they're excellent cookies. yeah they are very good cookies so if you like reese's pieces just try them out they're yeah um these are the utz wavy hell of a good hell of, uh, uh hell of a good hell of a good french onion potato chips hell of a good's a dip brand and these were excellent potato chips yeah. um i like uh, to eat sweets more than salty but then I say that, but then once I start eating the salty, it's like I can't stop. Yeah. And these were those kind that you didn't want to stop eating them mm -hmm. because they were hell of a good. <laughs> they really were. They See, were I, I hell crave, of a good potato chips. I juice. crave salty all the time. Yeah. So, um, you want to do? Oh, okay. I'm going to do no, this go one. Ahead. Uh, this one is the Mountain Dew Vol uh, Voltage. Yeah. Mountain Dew Voltage. We had never tried one. They've been out for ages, I think. Um, we had just never tried one, and we both really, really loved it. I mean, it was absolutely well, wonderful. And it tastes like cotton candy. It does. It and like someone candy. in the comments said, you know what? I never realized. It does taste like cotton candy. Raspberry and citrus flavor and ginseng is what the flavors are it's so good it yeah. really it, I mean, it's literally liquefied cotton candy it, it it's awesome yeah, yeah. that's it. funny that somebody else said they never thought about yeah. it that way but then they but said then, you know what it probably it yeah does it does like, taste like cotton candy it's, yeah, it's like i'm glad you agree because that's the truth okay now i have some holdsworth i think you liked this one better and i like this one i think if i remember correctly these these did not last long yeah well all. they're not huge packages anyway it's very small package we found both of these at home goods um, but you could probably find them at Marshall's or TJ Maxx these are from the United Kingdom Holdsworth is is from the uh, it's a British chocolate uh, these are the hoppy happy Easter bunnies they were milk chocolate bunnies filled with creamy caramel and they had creamy caramel centers they were awesome and they were thick thick Easter bunnies they were delicious they were good and that had the popcorn and peanut paradise which was uh, popcorn and, and peanuts and, and something else you did oh. like that one better because i remember i thought the popcorn i think hard. was kind of chewy uh, yeah but you really liked, liked the flavor yeah, of it like yeah. these are both good um and then um another uh thing from the uk uh this is the cadbury bourneville uh this is the old jamaica dark chocolate rum and raisin it's a good thing they don't sell these here because <laughs> i'm they telling you it was absolutely delicious and i'm kind of embarrassed to say it did not last the day it the whole the whole bar so like this is probably like three servings or something and that's why i'm saying it's a good thing we don't have them here because i ate the entire bar in one day because i kept going back 
uh, to the drawer. We have a drawer where we keep stuff like this. And I kept going back again and again and again because it was just that good. They were good. Yeah. And I, I never really liked rum flavored stuff that much until until Tammy came along. And I love And she likes them. So, and I've gotten to where I kind of like that rum flavor too. Um, I'm going to do a candy bar as well. This one is the Milka, the Almond Krispy Kreme. And I think Milka is just literally melt in your mouth chocolate it's it all is. very very melt your mouth very soft chocolate the other bad thing is it melts really fast but beyond that it's it's excellent chocolate uh, but this one was really good it had the, about a layer of uh, crispy cream on the on the bottom of it um yeah if you if you get a chance to try any milk up try them out it's, this was a new too so as good as that was i still like that cadbury that that just the rum and raisin it's just yeah. so good but uh, yeah that that's an excellent candy bar too uh, this is the Grater's Chip Willy. This was the uh, chocolate chip, and it was an, you know, so I did have another ice cream. I thought I was finished with the yeah. ice cream. I had another ice cream. Um, this was an ice cream sandwich, and I've never seen these in the store. So, like, Grater's is made, I think, in, uh, is it Cincinnati? Ohio, yeah. yeah, Cincinnati, Ohio. So even though it's so close, I have never seen these big cookie sandwiches sold in our stores, but we have a Grater's shop. And when we went in there, they had these. And um, they should sell them in the stores mm. because they are, they're big and they're delicious. You could easily, um, half it and save it for later or half it you know between you and your child or you and who, your loved one whoever uh because they're that big it's 440 calories for the whole thing so that tells you how big it was but it was delicious mm -hmm. it was very yeah. good. so all right so i'm just gonna throw the nutter butters out there my nutter butters are really good anyway this one was the double nutty which just basically added more filling um <laughs> <laughs> so how could you go wrong uh, i think the cookies we said were about the same but the yeah. filling was doubled up um, these are excellent. I think I, I think Tammy and me both yeah, worked on these yeah. for a, a few days and then we ate them all. Yeah. Um, but they're excellent. So if you see the new ones, they're just like they're the exact same flavor. You just get more of more of it. Yeah, yeah. more indulgent. Um, yeah. I, and I would choose these over the regular. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. You don't get as many in the package though. Just know that. Right. So, but if yeah. you love peanut butter, you're gonna choose. Yeah. Them. And nutter butter is like one you of the best peanut more. butter cookies. Yeah. Uh, these. Uh, the, this is, these are the Choco Love, and um, I finished both of these. Um, this is the dark chocolate almond butter, and this is the milk chocolate peanut butter. And I really like the uh, the dark chocolate almond butter because you could taste the dark chocolate was very dark. It was a crisp chocolate, so when you put it in your mouth, you could just bite through it. It had a really nice crisp, but you could, the almond butter was very strong. This one had a, the milk chocolate was creamy and delicious. And the, the peanut butter, it didn't taste like your typical jar peanut butter. It just tasted, honestly, it tasted more high quality. And for what we paid for these, I think we paid like $9 a bag for these, which was absurd. <laughs> uh, but we bought them from co-op so it's a more expensive store anyway i think everything in there is more expensive and um but that's why i'm glad i finished them too because we tried we reviewed two other ones in that same video one of them was marshmallow i would not buy the marshmallow yeah. again it was just so very very plain and i don't even remember what the other one was but these were the two best out of the four um, this one is the Kaleidos, which is a Kroger brand. It's Kroger Kaleidos. Uh, this one is the Unicorn Cookies, which I don't know. Are they a limited edition? Uh, it doesn't say limited edition. I don't edition, think they're. No, it doesn't say limited edition. So they'll edition. keep them around until they don't sell anymore. It's a good thing. Um, it's a cake batter flavor is what the deal is. Um, they taste a lot like a golden or a yellow Oreo. Um, they were excellent. And I think I finished off most of these. <laughs> but I ate them too. No. You were working on them too? No, I finished off that bag. Did you? Yes. Because I remember sitting up. Because we were both working on the them. Bed. <laughs> but that we, sounds awful. We were both working on them yeah. uh, a few at a time. and uh, But they're just excellent. So if you like a good vanilla cookie, um, I don't think they necessarily taste like cake batter. We kind of said they tasted more like just a vanilla cookie. Vanilla, but they're yeah, very they're good. They're excellent cookies. And though. they have the, And they're cheap too. The sprinkles in there that glittery part you wouldn't think that it would make that much of a difference but it does add texture to it mm -hmm. and so that is also so you not only get the pleasure from just the flavor but the the texture gives you pleasure too so yeah i remember sitting up in the bed finishing the bag we put them in a ziploc bag you um read my harry potter book so um this is a, a drink 
Um, this is the Starburst Lemon Singles to Go. And um, I will tell you, I love these. Out of all the Starburst, these and the All Pinks, is that what they're called? All Pink? All pink. Um, were my absolute favorites. I have not been able to find these. Melissa the sent us me sent us these and i should say uh, dr j is the one that sent us these candy bars from the uk <clears throat> i hope i didn't miss anybody else in there that has sent us if anybody else sent us anything i think we bought everything else ourselves i think um but melissa sent us these and i have looked every time i go in anywhere dollar general or walmart, walmart. or walgreens, walgreens anywhere, has a bunch of starburst they have I every have single starburst flavor there is but they don't have lemon. Um, I wish they would make a variety pack. I know. I'm I know. surprised they have it. But the lemon though, for me, was the very best one. So once I can find more of these, I'm gonna stock up. Uh, right now I've got the all pink in the drawer because that's my second favorite. Uh, but these are wonderful, so. So another one to go along with that drink package is the Skittles. The Skittles has four different flavors and they're all really good flavors. All four of them are like excellent. I mean, you, you can't beat any of them. Um, you have strawberry, orange, green apple, and grape. Tammy really didn't care for the green apple too much, but I just drink them all because I like them. Um, I it, liked the green apple, honestly, for a, for a green apple flavor. It's good. I would rather have that green apple than like Jolly Ranch or anything. Right. I actually like this. Yeah. Um, it, because, I'll tell you why, because it's so sweet. It's very sweet. It's like candy. It's literally yes. like you're drinking candy. It is very, very sweet. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people on um, this video, we were asking underneath, it was very interesting, um, whether you, would, would you vote for, if you could have lime, would you rather have lime, or would you rather have green apple? And um, In your Skittles bag is what we were Right. Uh, but a lot of people uh, were saying, uh, but it was a mix. It was a toss up. But you know, people in the UK have the lime, mm -hmm. and they love the lime. But then we you, used to have the lime. Yeah, um, and I just wish we did. But like Kevin said during this video, we really um, this is a good mixture for us because I like two the best, and he likes the other two the best. Yeah. So because I drink the pretty much the green and the orange. And I'm the grape and the strawberry. Yeah. And this is our second box. Yeah, this is the second <laughs> box. Yeah, because uh, we uh, used the other one. And you get 40. Yeah. 40 sticks and in it. It's only like $3, so it's, yeah. it's, it's not bad at all. It, it's very well worth it. Yeah. So the, those were excellent. Um, and I then. Oh, okay. Um, I have the Key Kios. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the flame grilled Irish steak, the crinkle cut. I think I ate all these. You did, um, yeah, he finished them. Although I love them. Yeah, they were very good. Had a good, they just had a really good charred meat flavor. <laughs> I mean, just for the, no better word, they had a really good, <laughs> grill, yeah, grilled meat flavor. And they, they just, they really had a really good flavor. I mean, they had a good seasoning to them and they had that meat flavor too. So if you like a, a meatier kind of potato chip, then, then these are definitely ones to dry out. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is the Harry and David. These are milk chocolate covered cherries and dark chocolate covered coconut. I should give you those because I... I on these. <laughs> um, a few more left. This is another one of those things that did not last long for me. I can't have good things. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the bad thing is we're always trying good things, so there's always good things in the house. Um, these were gone in two days for me yeah. because um, I ate them that quickly. They are huge. They are huge. Um, yeah, I like the size of a gumball. Yeah, they are big, but I ate these. Um, it seems like I pretty much divided them out, and you're supposed to get six servings. Six. I probably got six servings out of these. Yeah, because Kevin's better than me. I Kevin's grabbed three good. at a time. Yeah, see, I don't do that. I'm like, gosh, those are so good. I'm just going to half them yeah, and eat them now um, because that's just me. But I love them. Yeah, and they were, they were pricey. We found them at World Market, so they were on the pricey side. Yeah. Um, so it would be neat if you could get them somewhere else where they're not as much. Uh, but those were wonderful. Okay. So now... To transition, Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review. If you have not watched it and you are interested in frozen foods or like ready-made sandwiches like you can buy at, at Kroger, Walmart, places like that, things that you would have for lunch, things that you could potentially bake them in the oven, 
but you're yeah they're it, probably better in the oven to be honest with you. right but, but most workplaces don't have ovens <laughs> and so that's why on his lunchtime review channel he does not uh never uses the oven he only if they have microwave directions he uses their microwave directions on the package because at work you're usually not going to have an, yeah. an oven or want to spend the 20 or 30 minutes to heat it up and bake it in so. right yeah because it takes usually twice as long in the oven all right so these are the uh is it mama rosa mama um or, or mia rosa mia rosa i can't tell the, t the titles pulled off anyway it doesn't matter this was the italian stromboli roll gia it was gia i think yeah. gia you're, i think you're right yeah um the this was a sausage pepperoni and mozzarella i actually tried this at the end of february we just didn't we forgot to include it and i gave this one a five if that tells you anything i don't give many fives um all of these sandwiches were really good though there was none of these that i really disliked um this one was just one that i really really liked and it's funny we uh found that oh. those at jungle gems international oh okay yeah. is it is it gia gia yeah you're gia. Right. Um, we found these at Jungle Gems International Market, um, <laughs> but apparently, like John lives in Wisconsin, he can just go to the store and buy these all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're just up so, there in the, so his area. So we just don't have them in our area yeah. because I'm telling you, Kevin would be buying them for dinner. Oh yeah, have them for yeah, dinner. I would. So this one was the um, Italian Stromboli. This one is the double stuffed pepperoni roll, and that was also a five out of five. Um, if that tells you anything. Um, then I tried the. I'll do this. No, I'll do this one next. Uh, this one is the Kroger Roast Beef Deli Style Flatbread Sandwich, and I gave this one a five. Um, that one is just, it's like a really big, I mean, it's, it's literally the size of that packaging. It's a good size sandwich. It's about this thick. Um, it's a really flat, uh, almost like a focaccia bread or something. It's a really flat like bread. Like if you made your own toasty at home. Yeah, and they cut it, and they put all the stuff on there, and, and then you, you microwave it. And it, it's, it's just really good. The bread was good. It didn't get hard. The meat was good. The flavors were excellent. Everything it about it was reminded really good. me when I saw it and smelled it of something that you would get at Cheddar's. Like if I you were, that. yeah, like a flatbread sandwich. Yes. Or something. Yeah, and I mean that's how, and you would not expect that kind of quality from like a frozen food, but that's what it looked. I didn't taste it, but that's just what it looked and smelled like to me. It looked really good. All right, so this one is an Amy's Bowl uh, casserole chili rollino, and I gave it a four, but I put it in here because. I don't, I don't, sometimes I don't like Amy's that much. Um, I wanted people to know that I do like some Amy's. Um, that this one was really good. It had a really good, um, a spicy flavor. It was just like, it was almost like eating chili. And then the last thing, and we actually ended up finding these later on, but um, yeah, we paid a fortune for them at Jungle Gems. Yeah, we paid four nineteen each. And now they sell them at Kroger. They yeah, see, was yeah, that where we saw yeah, them? Yeah, now, and I don't know how much you have to pay for them at Kroger. But yeah, now it's like, oh, okay, after we paid a portion, now they're selling them at Kroger. Yeah, if these were, and I said, well, I may have said it in the video, it's way too much for what you get. I mean, you literally, it's like the size of a cinnamon roll. It's about this big, and they're made like a cinnamon roll, because they've got pepperoni and cheese or whatever in them. This particular one was the Meat Lover. They had pepperoni, bacon, ham, and sausage rolled up in it. And uh, it was just really good. The flavors are excellent. Um, I'm impressed with the amount of cheese you get and you can actually taste the cheese. I'm also impressed that the bread doesn't get hard. It's a very um, soft bread. So it's just, it's just really, really good. So didn't you say any of that, that stuff uh, was excellent. That roast beef Kroger flatbread, didn't you say if you did it again, you would, you would do it in the oven? Oh yeah, I would definitely, because the bread will get toasty in the oven. Whereas the bread in the microwave just kind of is this bread. So if you aren't at work, yeah, if you're lunch, at work and you're making them, and, you, doing and the you do have time, that's what I wanted to point out. That I thought that you had told me. Yeah, that you can. I think you can do it. That if you have time, that you would do it. Or the toaster. Yeah, we have a toaster oven. Yeah, you can. Do um, it. It, it is a conventional oven, but it, okay. it, you can do pan frying too. That I think, I think was what oh. I said I would try. Um, you can pan fry. You basically put it in a pan and you grill both sides oh, of the okay. bread. Oh, that's probably yeah. what I said. Um, heat, I knew you said you, you heat it in the microwave for a minute and 40 seconds, but then you put it in a skillet for three minutes uh, per side and it, and it crisps up the bread. That's the way I would do it, is, is put it in a, in a skillet. Right. That would make it excellent. So on Kevin's Lunch and Review channel, uh, typically uh, <laughs> he goes out to eat once a week. Those videos usually go up on Thursday. Uh, because of the situation that we are in these days, he has not been eating out. 
Uh, a lot of you feel very comfortable still eating out and that is totally your decision that you have to make that decision. Uh, we personally have decided that we are going to make food at home and eat what we have in the freezer. He has plenty of, of meals to review. Oh, yeah. People have said over and over again, how are you finding these foods on your shelves? Because our stores are sold out. Well, we still have a freezer full of foods for him to try for yeah, his lunchtime bought, review. So it's not like we're, we're buying it yesterday or right. something. It, these have been bought for a month, some yeah. of them, and, and he just hasn't gotten to them yet. And truth be told, our stores, every time I've looked in the freezer section, there's we've had tons, plenty, there's tons plenty of, of meals. Food. Uh, plenty, there, yeah. There's never been a sort. They had a shortage of meat for a little while. Not that I want to turn this video into this, but they had a shortage of meat for a little while. But even last time we went, like Walmart and Kroger both they had, had plenty. tons of they had plenty, so yeah. It, you get over the panic part where people are buying it like crazy and you realize, hey, I don't need all this. Right. And and it's still going to be in stock and it's levels out. So right. I think we're in the leveling out stage right, right now. Anyway. Uh, but with that said, we just, we have decided that we would rather eat at home. And so for the month of March, where normally you probably would have gotten in an extra week of eating out um, because it's so long, uh, this time he only ate out twice. Um, he uh, on the fifth he ate at Charlie Seafood, which is a local mm -hmm. fish and chips place, and then it's it's like a legit fish and chips like you would get in the United Kingdom. Yeah, they, they make the fish different, but yeah, it's pretty much the same. But I mean, it's like it's not like going out to a restaurant. No, it's not a restaurant. It's, you literally it's walk. It's a chippy shop. Yeah, you know? there's no tables. There's no place right. to sit in. That's you, what I mean. Yeah, you go in, you buy it, you leave. I mean, yeah. that's literally. And then at the tw on the twelfth, he ate at Firehouse Subs, and he had a, a pastrami Reuben sub. Yeah. Um, so normally, I would ask him after I gave him a list of things which one he liked the most. Yeah. And but there's and it's only hard to two tell. things to choose. And from. they're so different from each other that I really can't. I mean, first of all, nobody else has got Charlie's in their town. No. So I will just say that Charlie's is going to always probably be a uh, one of the top fish sandwich places if you want fish. Then uh, get it from there. To get it from there because they, if you want regular fish, now if you want something fancy like catfish and all that stuff, but you want the salads and all that stuff, you're going to go to. Don't they sell catfish though? They do. You can convert it over to catfish. That's true. Yep. I'm saying if you wanted to sit down and meal with a salad and bread and all that stuff, you're going to go to Texture House or someplace like that. If you want just to go in, get a sandwich and some fries and leave or onion rings or whatever and leave, then Charlie's is excellent if you're living in Lexington. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, we've we've had a lot of fish at places. I mean, uh, we love um, uh, Texas Roadhouse. Texas yeah, Roadhouse. That's why I mentioned it because that's they've got some great. They have catfish. excellent catfish, but I tell you what, I personally would just as soon eat uh, yeah. Charlie's. Uh, you get a lot of food. Yeah. Um, you drive down the road, you park in a parking lot, and you eat it. I mean, that's yeah, what you, you do. Yeah, you eat on the side <laughs> of the road. Yeah. But you're eating in the car, and, you know, I don't know. And yeah, I, we did it almost every weekend for, for... The woman recognized him. We hadn't been in there for years. Oh, it's been And she recognized him when he walked in yeah. and said, uh, haven't seen you in haven't a while seen you for or a long something, time like or something like that. Like that. Um, but it's just excellent fish. So if you're local and watching this video... And you've never been there. Yeah, you really need to go. Just it's a small parking lot. You kind of have to fight for parking a little bit, but it's just, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. it truly. Uh, is. But the firehouse, I love the flavor. That that meat, the pastrami, was like some of the best flavored um, lunch meat or deli meat or whatever you want to call it. That was like some of the best tasting meat I've, I've ever had in a sandwich. Oh really? It was excellent. I mean, it was it was awesome. Maybe it was just maybe that's just how pastrami is, and I just don't eat that much of it. I just don't right. eat it. But it was it was top notch I mean, right. it was definitely worth trying out well for a little while on the uh, for lunchtime review um, I mean normally Kevin only post uh, five days a week but for a while there for some reason he got ahead and so I had a lot of I had extra reviews and I needed to get those out there so I was posting for probably a month um, on the weekends as well now he's all caught up and so now I'm, I'm back uh, I'm the one that posts them for him. So we're back to that five day a week schedule in case you're wondering why haven't I seen any lunchtime reviews on the weekend? That's why, it's because now we're back to five days a week. And you know, once this is all over with, of course he will go back, yeah, go to, back to, eating to eating out all the yeah. time. It's just that- you know, I would eat out now, honestly, but our town, I mean, I'm pretty, we're, we're just staying at home. He's staying at home. And and I've pretty much done every restaurant in town right. <laughs> over and over again. So, I mean, there's really, I mean, I could try different things, but it, it's just like, 
there's really nothing new or exciting out right now. If there was something new that popped up and it was sounded really cool, I might try it out. So, so you may see one in the next month, but I don't know. We'll yeah. see. We'll just we'll, play it by ear. We'll see. So I know this was a longer video <laughs> than normal. We had a lot of stuff. We had a lot of stuff to review though. Like I said, a lot of extra stuff, but it, it was a lot of fun. So even the stuff we don't like, it still was uh Fun. You know, who would have known that this burger would be this horrible, but it was still a lot of fun to open up the packages and dissect it and get to look at it and be like, gosh, who buys this for their kids? Don't buy this for your yeah, kids. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and thanks for watching.